Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at working with components in the component window, saving, creating collections, that sort of thing. So I don't want to be obscure or anything, but uh, I made a video a couple weeks ago about working with materials and adding materials so they were part of your default SketchUp. Uh, the same thing can be done with components. I want to dive in and see how to go about that process. Okay, so I have a model here. I have a couple components. Sumele here is a component and uh, Fire Hydrant here is a component. And I have my components window open and my components window is set to in model. So you can see right now I have two components in model. I also have this mailbox sitting here, but you see it doesn't show up because it's not a component right now. It is just some a bunch of geometry. So what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to grab this, right click, make component. I'm going to go ahead and give it a title, a definition, and hit create, and we'll see it show up in model right here. Okay, that's simple. That's the stuff that we just we do all the time, right? Um, how do we go about adding this stuff so that anytime I start up a SketchUp model, I have access to it? So I put a lot of fire plugs, fire hydrants into my models, and I put a lot of mailboxes in. How do I make it so that all I have to do is just click and drag and drop every time I have a new model? Well, what you're gonna to wanna to do is start by creating a local collection. So if you if you do hit the drop down here, you'll see all this stuff here, um, and you can see the different groups that are in here that are you know uh created so landscape this stuff jumps up to 3d warehouse and it shows you what these these models are local collections um are going to allow you to take any files you want store them locally on your hard drive and get to them from any sketchup model so let's let's look at how to do that so i'm going to come in here um and i'm going to i want to go create a new collection so I'm gonna click create new collection. And this is the cool part is a new collection is just a folder on your computer. Doesn't matter where you stick it. In this case, I'm gonna just go ahead and stick it on my desktop. So I'm gonna go to desktop and I'm gonna hit new folder and uh, I'm gonna call this important components. Com Oh, nints. Okay, and then I'll create that. That's gonna create an empty folder on my desktop, which I will then just hit new. And what that does is that then puts me in my important components folder. Awesome, super easy, right? But none of the stuff's in there right now. So just like when we were talking about making colors, I have this little drop down here, which is gonna give me two panes. So here's my important components, here's my other folder. So right now I'm going to grab the second folder and say in model, show me what's in model. And now if I want this fire hydrant to always be available in my important components folder, I'll just drag it, drop it. And now it's in both places. It doesn't move out of here, by the way, because this is what's actually in my model. I can't get rid of stuff from here. If it's part of the model. Another thing I can do is if I come out here and I right click and I click save as when this comes up, I can go to the desktop, I can go to my important components folder, and I can save my mailbox right here. Now watch what happens. So when I hit save, it saves a copy of that SKP file out into there. And then over here, I'm gonna have to refresh. Let's go back to in model, and then go back to important components. And then there we go. It took a second to update, but there it is. Now this important components are gonna be available to any model I work on. So let's go ahead and test this, right? Let's go file, new, brand new model. And if I go to my in model, the only file, the only components I have in this model is Sumele. That's my default, that's what it should be. But here I can go, show me what's in my important components folder and look, 
I can just bring these right in, drop them right down there. Now I have my fire hydrant. And now I have my mailbox. And I can do that from any model. And it doesn't even have to be a new model. This folder will be available in existing models as well. It seems like a simple process when you lay it all out like that. But um, I know I've seen a lot of questions with that where people are saving a bunch of components like into a template. So they always have everything in model. That works, that's cool. The nice thing about doing it that way is then you can have multiple templates with different sets of components already in, in model. That's great, that's cool. But if you have components you're constantly using, you can actually just have the component window look for them and show them to you when you need them. They're there, they don't take up space in the model. That is one of the downsides to loading stuff into a template is there's copies of all those files in the model. So you can start off with a very big model even though there's nothing on screen yet if you load your template. Doing it this way just says make it available to me quick and easy as I'm working. Did you like that video? If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Do you like that option? Can you give it a try? Do you already do it? Do you have a better way of doing it? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.